New at 10 o'clock during Black History Month, there is much to explore about the courage displayed even in the worst of times. News 12's Talia Munson takes, to, takes us to Denison's Frontier Village and Museum where there's much to learn about African Americans in the Civil War. Years of tension between the northern and southern states led to the bloodiest war in American history. A lot of people stood up and uh, fought for what they believed in and it was very difficult. In honor of Black History Month, for the first time, the Frontier Village and Museum set up a presentation to recognize black troops that fought in the Civil War. This was part of Black History Month, so we wanted to sh show and, and educate the public on the fact how many black troops there were who fought for their own freedom during the Civil War. Historian Dale Anderson says from 1864 to 1865, more than 180,000 black men fought for the Union and about 40,000 died in the war. The Civil War lasted for four years, but... The Union could not um, have black troops fight for them until the Emancipation Proclamation. Signed in 1863, when President Abraham Lincoln declared that African Americans of suitable condition will be received into the armed service of the United States. And for the first time, black soldiers could fight in the U.S. Army. The Frontier Village and Museum offers displays showing soldiers like Sergeant J.L. Baldwin and the weapons of war. Just to build pride and build the understanding of, of how they fought for their freedom as well. An exhibit of courage and bloodshed that changed America and the African-American push for equality. In Denison, Talia Munson, News 12.